vlog update. I'm really showing on the side now. He's growing in there. Um, almost 23 weeks. I'm 22 weeks and five days today. Because today's Thursday. So, I just wanted to show you guys my love bump. Hey guys, so I just wanted to, um, we're gonna do a tiny little pregnancy update. Um, not big one. This is gonna be more, more of a holiday themed video. I'm just gonna show you some holiday decorations that I put up. Um, how, um, you know, how we decorated the house. And then answer some just holiday questions that I found, um, on Pinterest when I'm, because I have like a YouTube vlogging, um, board to help me with some ideas and stuff but um I do have because I do have some ideas but I don't have a whole lot and I have them set there's certain certain times when I would do those because of things um do before I do anything because I know um people are going to want a heads up besides a few clips of the decorations and some other random things um I have an unboxing and um just a little short clip of um, something I did um, earlier today, um, first time I'm going to um, top golf, so I'm going to include that clip. Um, but besides that, um, mostly this video is going to be a sit-down video, so it might be a little bit longer. I'm going to try to cut it short, um, but if you don't want to watch it because of how long it is, I want to just give you that heads up um, that it's mostly a sit-down video. Um, Important things to say before you click away if you're gonna click away um, is that I do want to say if you have any ideas for some um, vlogs um, that you want to see on the channel um, comment below let me know some ideas that you want to see um, of course make it realistic I can't you know do anything with the baby until he's here um, and you can always say what you want to see when he's is here and I will write those down um, but I do plan on making plenty of vlogs with him. Um, so just give me some ideas of what you want to see on the channel. Um, besides some of the ideas I already have going on, um, that I do have coming up. Um, and get some videos that you are, won't mind watching a lot of. Um, thank you guys for making, um, Zach's name video very popular. It is my second most watched video. Um, very exciting to me. It reached over 100 views in a 24-hour period. Now that I've said all that, I'm actually going to go on and um, do my pregnancy update. Um, it, um, I went to the doctor on Tuesday. Um, I said I'm 22, um, almost 23 weeks, 22 weeks and five days today. Um, and everything is looking good. I had my gestational diabetes test in January, January 2nd, my next appointment. Um, so we're hoping for good for that. I am measuring around time. I'm measuring like about five days ahead. Um, so I'm already measuring 23 weeks, which is still good. He's not like super big, but he's growing fine. Um, I've only gained about six pounds from my previous, my start weight. I lost 22 pounds from my start weight, but I am now six above my start weight. So they're, they're not concerned about that either, of course. Um, and you usually, um, it's, they want you to gain between 15, 20, 25, um, pounds, depending on your, um, start weight anyway. They want you to gain that, you know, that anyway. So I'm doing good. Um, I'm in my sixth month and the heartbeat was still in the 150s. He's moving around all the time and I didn't have anything to be alarmed about. My blood pressure was perfect. Everything was good at the appointment. She's, um, very excited how great I'm doing so baby's good I'm good and that's my update for the pregnancy okay hey guys um I do want to say or I do want to do an unboxing again um I got another stitch fix in so I just wanted to you know show you guys um what came in this one um again I'm not being endorsed by stitch fix to do this but I just wanted to do my review on it again um because so far I'm liking it um but anyway, uh, the five items in this box, I have an Urban Expressions Suki Laser Cut Fold Over Clutch. Um, it's $38. 
Um, by the way, this one is a lot better in pricing. My most expensive thing was a $68 item, and it's a dress. So um, they listened to me when I said that things were too pricey for me. That's why I didn't. One reason why I didn't buy it. Um, so I like that they actually listen, and then they, the next box it like is more geared towards how you want it to be. Um, there's also a Colette Kinley lace up hooded knit top. It's $48. Um, a 41 Hawthorne Grayson pleated tab sleeve blouse, which is $58. Um, a Sage Carl Crochet detail dress, which is $68. And then um, um, a mix by 41 Hawthorne Martina Slub knit open cardigan. But if I wanted to get everything in the box, um, $250, but if I got everything in the box, it's, they give you a 25% discount for buying all five, which I won't be. So that's $62.50 off, and then plus my $20 styling fee um, that I get that comes out when they send the box, and then it goes, it does go into your account if you don't buy anything, so it's like, um, goes towards your next box or whatever. Um, everything would be $167.50. Anyway, so there's that. I'm gonna go ahead and so this is the um, that hooded top. It actually looks really, really cute, and it is something that I probably would purchase. A little hood on it too. Um, Something I would probably purchase, although because I'm getting a little big, I don't need hair all over this. Um, because I'm getting a little big with the baby, with the baby belly. Um, I probably would only be able to wear it for a little bit longer. Um, and granted, yes, I could wear it after the pregnancy, but with the holiday seasons, I don't have that much money. So, um, that much extra money, I should say. So, I, I'm going to put it in a maybe pile, um, but I doubt I'll end up getting this one. Just because, even though I really like it, I probably, I don't have the extra money. Um, even, even though I really like it, and I probably, I can wear it after the pregnancy, and a little bit before, I don't want to have the extra money. So, it's a maybe, though. Here's the card again. Just the black little cardigan. Um, very soft and nice um, fabric. Um, and green and cardigans are always nice. But, at the same time, um, I have a lot of cardigans. So here is um, that 41 Hawthorne blouse. I'm not a big fan of it. I'm not a big fan of the color. I'm not a big fan of the fabric or the um, design on it. It's not ugly. It's just not me. So I won't be purchasing that. But here's the dress. Which when I looked at it on when my box set, I thought it looked really cute. But I don't even know. It still kind of looks cute. It's not really my style. Um, so unfortunately, I won't be buying it. Um, it is cute though. I like the fabric. It's just not really my style. Here's that. Clutch. Um, got a cute little like zebra print inside. Um, definitely not that big, of course. Um, but there's also a little zipper pouch here that has a lot of room in it. So, um, not a bad purse. It's really cute. Again, not my style, but at the same time, um, I'm trying to 
figure out. I thought it would like um, snap because there's like snaps here and there's snaps there, but unless you do it like this, which I guess is how you would do it, because that's how it works. Um, that's weird. Um, not my style. I'm not. Um, is it cute? But not my style. Um, I am not a clutch girl. I don't even really use a purse. I have one purse and it usually sits in the car and I just carry my wallet around. But it's definitely, if you are into that kind of stuff, I would definitely, um, I know you would definitely want this. Um, you would definitely want to get it. $138 too. So once you, um, apply your $20 fee that already got applied, so you're already paying $20, you're going to only pay $18 more for this. So it's not too bad. And it, like I said, it's like, I wouldn't say, I don't know if it's real leather, but it definitely smells and feels like it. So. Um, so there's the um, Stitch Fix box for this month. questions just to answer and get to know me because I do have some new subscribers that um, figured I can when to get to know me a little better um, what's your favorite part of the holiday season my favorite part is um, the lights the decorations the music being able to give um, receiving is nice you know everyone loves to get a gift but I like giving and you can ask any of my friends I am a very big giver if I could give you like a ton of presents, anything you wanted, I would give it to you. I love seeing the people's faces when I give them presents and I'm just a very big giver. So that's why I like this season because I would give to all my friends if I could, but I can't afford that. Um, my family traditions, um, I've carried some of them over into my family and I will carry more because most of them need to have kids. Um, we um, always get up in the morning um, and had, um, we have cinnamon rolls and eggnog if you want it. You can have milk, um, but I love eggnog. Um, so that's one tradition my dad always did where we got to open one gift and he picked um, in, um, Christmas Eve. Um, and sometimes he would also give us pajamas um, to wear for Christmas Day. But, what are you most thankful for this year? Which I know I should have done on my Thanksgiving video, but I didn't. Um, I'm more thankful for the fact that I'm still alive. I made it through my sickness. Um, and I was able to become a better person from it. My managers even said that I was such a better person. Like, I, I don't know how to describe it. Like, every, I've changed. Um... I was more dedicated, I guess. I don't know. Um, but they definitely liked me a lot more. And um, I'm also thankful for my son. Um, he's that he's growing and healthy and doing everything. Or not doing everything. He's right where he should be in the pregnancy. And that's a blessing from especially from last year when at this time I was very sick. How long did I believe in Santa? Probably until I was about seventh grade. Seventh grade, it was middle school. I believed for a long time. I had to pause a few times if you just have for my dog. Um, I believed for a long time. 
Uh, my every year, my dad um, the, um, home videos, and we record Christmas. Um, and like at the very beginning of our that year's Christmas video, he point the camera would be facing our fireplace, and it'd be empty, and all of a sudden you'd Santa appear, and the camera would you know follow him while he placed the presents by the Christmas tree ate the cookies, replied back to our Santa letter, and then back to the fireplace where he'd touch his nose and then poof, the fireplace would be empty again. Um, and I used to watch our home videos all the time. Not even just the Christmas ones, well, other ones. But even like in the middle of the summer, I'd watch the Christmas ones. I liked watching our home videos. Um, and... That's probably why I like vlogging, because my dad did vlog, or videotaped a lot of our family things. Vacations, birthdays, Christmas, anything important you'd want to have video of, he did. So that's probably why I like vlogging, because I want to keep, even if you guys don't watch these, it lets me um, go back and watch it with my kids, keep track of my, you know, my life, and um, I can look back on everything and have my memories. Um, but I decided, um, to watch it one time, and I'm watching, like I said, 7th, 8th grade, I'm watching it, and I was downstairs with my mom, laying on the couch, and I said, Mom, how was the camera following Santa? How did I never think of that before, but I did, finally. And she used the excuse, it's the elves. No. So that's when I stopped believing. It wasn't, like, a big detrimental moment for me, like, oh my god, Santa's not real, what am I gonna do? It was just kind of like, um... It's nice that I believed in that long, but it's over with. And I know my sister was very glad that I finally didn't believe anymore because she's eight years older than me. And she was, by the time I, knew, I stopped believing, she was already out of high school. And so I'm sure she was probably relieved that she didn't have to pretend that, that, that he was real anymore. The last thing I want to say about my holidays um, questions is a memory of a past Christmas. Um, it's not exactly happened on Christmas. It happened right after Christmas, but I did want to talk about it because it's kind of funny and it's probably one of my best ones um, Best holiday memories um, Because of how it went down We it was our first year here in Oklahoma um, We just moved here a couple months before Christmas um, Oh, I did he was already here a while anyway, and um, He we decided we were gonna go home we couldn't go home on Christmas. Um, neither of our works were letting us go home on Christmas, but we were allowed to go home for New Year's. So we left the day after Christmas. The only people who knew was my sister's mom. We have the same dad. Um, my sister's mom, because she picked us up from the airport. Um, and then, because we would have a car from his parents, but they, we didn't want them to know we were coming yet. Um, so she picked us up, so she knew, and then, of course, um, I forget why I told her something was going on with plans and a party or something, and I wanted to let her know I'd be there, um, but I couldn't, like, RSVP on the event on Facebook, because then they would give it away. So I told my sister's friend that we were coming. So they were the only people who knew. Um, and then, sorry, my dog just gave me this weird look. Um, and then we went, um, so when we got there, we, she dropped us at the, at the hotel first. Um, like, we usually stay with our, one of our families while we're there, but of course, because no one knew, we had to stay at a hotel. Um, so we dropped off our stuff, and then she dropped us off at his parents' house, because we needed the car. Um, so we went there, and we rang the doorbell, and when his mom opened the door, his sister was there too, she was on the phone with her mom. She screamed like bloody murder. Brandon like wanted to run away because of how she screamed. She was excited and she's like, I'll call you back. And so they were really excited to see us. His dad was not home yet, so we were gonna surprise him later. Um, things didn't really work out with my family, how it did, so things got a little jumbled. I was gonna go to see my parents first and then go see my sister and have like lunch or have dinner. But it wasn't working out that way. My sister and dad were, and the kids and Kyle, my brother-in-law, we're going to um, the zoo for a festival of lights that night. And I'm like, oh crap, well now I gotta go because either we can go with them or um, cancel the plans. Um, so I went to my sister's house. When we pulled up, Lily opened, Lily, my niece, 
open up the door. She was only five. Um, she opens up the front door and I hear my sister go, Lily, what are you doing? And without saying anything, Lily just runs back to her mom and leaves the front door open. So we come running in before I say, say that. I asked my sister what she was doing and I just, um, cause I want to know what she was doing. So we knew and I lied and said that I was just bored. Brandon was at work and blah, blah, blah. So, <laughs> um, I had lied. I was asking everyone what they were doing because I was trying to figure out plans. So I had lied while I was asking them what they were doing. And uh, anyway, I come running in. She's sitting in the kitchen um, by her laundry room, full of clothes. Come busting in, and she looks at me and she's like, "You jerk!" Um, and she couldn't believe that you know we lied. Blah blah. blah. She was happy we were home. Uh, when my brother-in-law came home, we were sitting in the dining room area, and he comes in. My sister just standing there, like waiting for him to notice. And he looks at us and he goes. What the hell are you doing here? Like, well, thanks. Nice to see you, too. Um, <laughs> but my dad was on his way to the house to go to the zoo. My mom wasn't going. My mom's not in, big into that, doing that anyway. And she had just worked. She was a postal carrier. She just retired. She was a postal carrier, so she didn't want to be out in the cold even longer, walking around. After she worked eight hours or so. So, we were going to try to change the plans. They decided that we were going to... Surprise my dad first and then see if he was okay changing the plans and um, see if my mom would just meet us for dinner. Anyway, so my Brandon and my sister hid down the hallway. Because me and my sister look exactly alike. If I can, I'm going to try to put a picture of her right here <laughs> to um, show you how similar we look. She definitely is thinner than me now. Not just because I'm pregnant. I am big. I'm a big girl anyway. But she looks great now. Um... We look like her dad. But anyway, we open up the door. I open up the door and I'm standing there. And he first glances at me and thinks I'm my sister. She's just a tad taller than me. But when you just glance, you don't know. Because he sees Kyle there, Lily. Then Brandon comes down the hallway chasing Camden. He sees Brandon and my sister comes around the corner. And he sees that and he realizes what's going on. He was all happy. Um, so then um, he agreed that they would go to the zoo later. Because the tickets were for that day. It was for like until April. So we called up my mom, Kyle calls because, which probably was a bad idea because Kyle never called her at that time and um, um, and then he uh, also said that, you know, he wanted to, because he never gets to, this is an excuse, he was like, because we never get to, we decided to go to dinner, the kids are sick so they're not going to be there. Which they weren't. They um, went to his parents. Um, so we were decided just to go to dinner. Um, and she wanted to meet us. So she said her first thing was, "Is Leslie there?" He goes, "No. Why would she be there?" And he she pretty much because I was acting weird, asking her questions. And he goes, "No, she's not here. I just want to go to dinner because I never get to go because he he worked in the hospital, several different hospitals. He was hardly ever home." to go do stuff with the family so he um, wanted to go to dinner my mom's like sure whatever so she came out so they're like we went to this place called Bob Evans um, there my sister dad and um, Kyle are standing over like um, against the wall where they, my mom would see him when she walked in we're sitting over at a bench on the other like side of the waiting area with our hoods down and like looks like we're just looking at our phones like we're just teenagers looking at our phones when they called Evans for six, or Crow for six, I can't remember what they put it under. My mom was like, six? And Kyle's like, oh, I forgot that the kids weren't with us, blah, blah, blah. So they start walking. We get up behind them, like, after they're past us and following them. And, but when we get, right before we get to our table, someone stands up to get out of their table. So we get stopped. And my mom realizes that we're kind of close to her. So she turns around to look to see who, why is someone so close to her? And that's when she sees us, and she gets all happy. Um, and then we had stuff in our... Um, and, and then when we came back, we came back to his house later, um, to my, his parents' house, to surprise his dad. His mom was excused why we the truck's not going to be there, because she didn't know if we'd be there or not when he got home, was that um, his sister had to borrow it, or someone had to borrow it. Well... It was back, but we left, like, our Christmas stuff in it. Christmas present for my sister in it. And he, like, looked in it, and then he was, like, coming up the stairs asking Ashley why they left stuff in the car. 
and when they borrowed it and then that's when he saw us in the living in the kitchen and he was happy he's not one of those big like oh my god um guys um he's just like oh hey you know it's cool to see you like he was happy to see us but it wasn't like oh my god um so that's definitely one of my best memories for christmas this one's gonna be a little longer like i said because it was a sit down so if you are still watching um i love you and you obviously love me because you're watching my whole video um, and I hope you learned a little bit of something about me. Like I said, if you have any, um, ideas for, um, videos, for vlogs to, um, that you want to see on the channel, comment below. Um, if you, um, I'm thinking of doing some more question ones, hopefully we'll cut it shorter, do like maybe some like 10 questions here, 10 questions there, something like that. So it's not so long, but get to know me better because I get, I get new subscribers every time I post a new vlog. Um, so if you just, so my new subscribers can get to know me and that's what this vlog is about is to follow my life and to get to know me. So if you think of some questions you want me to answer in another question video, put those down there as well and I'll write them down. All right. Um, next week I think I'm doing, hopefully if we can get stuff done this weekend, um, a part one of my baby stuff haul. Um, cause we've gotten several stuff. Some of the stuff I've already shown you, but I'm going to show you again cause we're going to start getting things together in the nursery. We got the crib and, um, dresser already. So once we put that together, that'll be put into the baby stuff haul. So I'm going to try to do that next week. If not, you'll see something. <laughs> um, but thanks for tuning in guys. See ya.